Sup. Hey. Sup. Sorry, have you got some kind of speech impediment? <laughs> Bless. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> my uncle sent me, innit? I'm here to see your shizzle. Not even my ex-wife got to see my shizzle, son. <laughs> no, my uncle said to me, I'm here for a job. Oh. Right, you're the uh, work experience kid. Yeah, the big boss Ben did send me down here, right? I see. Well, I'm Jeff, and you are? I'm what? what what's your name? My name? What people call you, apart from Maura. Huh? Adam, innit? I don't know, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's Adam, Adam. <laughs> right, right, fine. Presumably your uncle told you what we do here. Yeah, 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 of course. Well, sort of. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're cleaners. Oh, cleaners. Yeah, you know, we dispose of... <laughs> oh, Jesus! I'm sure I'd be flattered by the comparison, but no. <laughs> Adam in it, meet Bob the Wrench. <laughs> Is he dead? Well, he'd be pretty miffed if he wasn't when we toss him in the ground. God, he's like, actually dead? Well, according to Nietzsche, um, well... He's uh, been lying there quietly all day, so I'd say, yeah, he's dead. He's like, really dead? Yeah, dead. Yeah, sorry. Which, which, bit, which bit of this are you struggling to grasp? He is no more. He has ceased to be. <laughs> he's expired and gone to meet his maker. <laughs> Mind Fiora. Good evening, Geoffrey. I see you're in high spirits. What have you done to him? What? I just introduced him to Bob. Oh, for God's sake, Geoffrey, you've only had him five minutes, you've broken him already. <laughs> Geoffrey! <laughs> what have I told you about playing with the clients? Clients? I haven't heard Bob complaining. Really? <laughs> Geoffrey, it wouldn't kill you to be a little more professional? It might. And this poor boy, he's clearly sensitive. You'll get, you'll get on well here then. You must be James. Pleased to meet you. Adam. Uh, Geoffrey? Jeff. Adam. Sorry. Adam. Susie. Suzanne. Adam? Yeah, Adam. His name's Adam. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, it says James here. Oh, well, if it says James on the clipboard... Yeah, ignore him, James. Uh, actually, it is Adam, yeah. Are you sure? He probably uh, knows his own bloody name. Is James a nickname? I don't think so. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have to change all the paperwork. My God, how are we going to cope? <laughs> paperwork doesn't just do itself, you know. If you could manage to keep things in order, then silly mistakes wouldn't be made, would they? No, they wouldn't. Good. Right, well, if you've quite finished redecorating that corner, just... Watch Geoffrey for tonight. He'll show you what's what. One more tonight, Geoffrey, then that's your lot. Who? That's on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. Pompous cow. I think you're in there. Yeah. Of <laughs> course not, soppy chops. You've got puke on your lips and a face as pale as... well as him. What's gonna happen to him? We, my little sausage roll, are gonna bury him. No way, I ain't touching a stick. Well, he's not going to walk himself into the hole. <laughs> nah, man, it'll be all like cold and clammy and shit. Have you ever touched a raw chicken? Mm, yeah. You know, before it goes in the oven. Yeah, of course. Well, it's a bit like that. If the chicken weighed 200 pounds and was dressed in a suit. Oh, <laughs> man, that's just gross. I ain't never going to eat a nano again. Did you say you were Sid's nephew? Yeah. Sid the Killer Hopkins? Yeah. And you never wondered what he did, how he got the name? Yeah. You like making killer deals in the city, innit? it? He's like a stockbreaker or something. Broker? Nah, man. He never broke no nothing. He's proper safe, yeah? Got me set up here, right? Even though I've done time. You've done time? In, in prison? Well, like, detention. <laughs> yeah, but like for a whole term, right? I nearly got suspended. Well, Ronnie Biggs, I've got important paperwork to catch up on. Right. Now, as you are aware, Mr. Parker... Who? Mr. Parker... Oh, the, uh, stick. Mr. Parker... 
Was it? An important member of another organisation. Who is Mr Parker? Um, Bob the Wrench. Please, Geoffrey, you know we don't use such epithets. He was called Bob. He used to beat people with a wrench. <laughs> Maybe, but we need to maintain a certain decorum. Decorum? He was a complete and utter bastard. But he was also a very important operative and we need to make sure his disposal goes without a hitch. Don't want him to suddenly turn up outside Tesco's, do we? Poppycock. I'm sorry? Four down. Floral male chicken is absolute nonsense. Nine letters. Yes, thank you, Geoffrey. We need to step up our game. In fact, we need to bring our A game. Any questions? Yes. If we're bringing our A game, does that mean we're the A team? Oh, they is well sick. I'm sure it'll all seem a bit daunting at first, but you'll get the hang of it. It's not rocket science, is it? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> You might not be able to do a degree in expired person's disposal, but there's a lot more to this job than just, than just bunging bodies in the ground or chucking them in the canal. Such as? Well, well, there's... I mean, for a start, mm -hmm. you, are, you can't just be... Well, what time is it? <laughs> Half past. <laughs> Geoffrey, can I remind you of the company motto? For Christ's sake, don't get caught. Oh, <laughs> discretion, carefulness, and dignity. Right. I promise I won't sling him in a skip. Oh, I'll be in the office if you need anything. I'll make sure his nibs doesn't get up to anything. Touch him. What? Go on, I dare you. Nah, couldn't. You'll have to handle the life impaired sometime. Life impaired? Deceased. <laughs> right. I'm gonna make my eczema flare up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm stuck between an office Nazi and the dermatologically challenged. What can you do? A rap. <laughs> rap. Yeah. Presents. No, man. Like Drake. Jay Z. Jay. Jay Z. Some kind of picture book. Now they're like sounds, man. And you can cut that fake urban talk right now. I'm not your bruv. I'm not your homie. I'm not your blood. Okay, sorry. You're here to learn, sunshine. Remember that. Still ain't touching no dead body. Oh? No! <laughs> do that for? Let my cause at it! Or you might turn into a zombie. <laughs> you know, they gotta bite you for that. <laughs> Common misconception. I'm alright, I've built up an immunity, but you? <laughs> what well, I've got to do to stop it then? Could tell you, but I think I'll finish my tea first. Uh, same setting sometime later, another body has appeared. Also, in box, um, on a gurney. Jeff is standing by the tube. You look so peaceful, don't you? Eh? Ironic, considering. We thing is, I'm, I'm jealous. No more worries. You're not bothered about that, that lump in your testicle, or how you're going to pay your child maintenance. Death takes care of all that. Nothing to be done. Not much copper crosswords, though. Ah, oh, the Mensa candidate returns. You don't like me, do you? <laughs> don't take it personally, son. I don't like anybody. This wasn't exactly a career choice for me. It's a bit boring, isn't it? If it's excitement you want, tell Oba Fiora she's looking a bit porky. God, evil man, there's two of them now. Oh, nothing gets past you. <laughs> Perhaps the breeding. Breeding? Nah! Have you not seen Dawn of the Dead? I've seen Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> right. Well, Dawn of the Dead is Romero's classic indictment of American consumerism. And Shaun of the Dead is... Isn't... <laughs> Who's the new guy? Oh, some inconsequential lowlife. We'll get them all in here. Is he being buried with the other one? No, uh, this fellow is going off to have a short trip to the lake where he'll become intimately acquainted with the local car. Car? Yeah, you know, the, the fish. Fish? Is, is there an echo in here? Echo! <laughs> <laughs> I'd better check when the car's back. Well, what should I do? Stay here. Make sure you don't get up to anything. All right.
You have body. Uh, I was not doing nothing. Mm. Mm. Uh, body. Body. Yeah, I got a body. I take. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, here is docket. Okay. Which one I take? Uh, maybe you should wait for Jeff to come back or something. Need body now. Okay. You remind me of brother. Oh, is he like Well Street too? No, he in asylum. <laughs> oh. This one come. <laughs> Pretend on Gurney, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All quiet on the rest in front. Yeah? Never mind. Help me with a uh, Bob. Ad Adam? Yeah? Does anything strike you as being a rye? A rye what? Out. Unusual. Out of the ordinary. What? Where's Bob? S six foot bald headed Bob. Come here. Notice anything different? Sick man. His hair's grown back. <laughs> yes. And he's grown. Correct. Can they do that? No. Huh? Because this isn't Bob, you imbecile. So, so he's not here. Where the bloody hell is he? The geezer took him. Geezer? Yeah, he had a docket. Docket? <laughs> yeah. A man with a docket took Bob the wrench. I know. You stupid, incompetent, bungling, pointless fetus! Problem? Did you know about the man with the docket? Does he? Yeah, he was here to pick up quickly. Why? Who the hell is Jersey? He's from Poland. What difference does that make? What the hell is he doing taking bodies from my waiting room? We're outsourcing now. Outsourcing? Yes. <laughs> The influx of Eastern European labour has been an absolute godsend. Well, your little Polish friend has just waltzed off with Bob the wrench. No, he's taken Quigley. Sorry. Huh? Look, Sills, I'm not sure how to break this to you, but the old docket thing seems to have gone a bit... tits up. Uh, didn't you check the docket? I wasn't here. Then who? Here. Oh. Sid's coming round tonight. Sid? <gasps> oh. What the bloody hell is Sid coming round for? He wants to check that Mr Parker's really dead. Bob the wrench isn't the only one I'll end up dead if we can't produce the body. <gasps> you think you'll be angry? <laughs> angry? Imagine you've just ripped a plaster off a gorilla's balls. Yeah. Well, he's going to be a hell of a lot angrier than that. <sighs> And see. <laughs> <laughs>